Hi there, this is Fixed It. I bought this fantastic roly light pad and loop block and I thought great I'll connect that up to my Mac and give it a play and unfortunately it's not working. To use the roly blocks both of these devices require to be using USB type C MIDI or Bluetooth MIDI and in this case I want to use Bluetooth MIDI. To set up Bluetooth MIDI it isn't as simple as switching on your Bluetooth preferences and selecting the device it doesn't work from there. What you need to do is open your audio MIDI setup and when you open audio MIDI setup it usually comes up with the audio devices page so go to the window in the top menu and select show midi studio in the midi studio you'll see an icon called bluetooth so you need to double click on that and as long as you're running all 64-bit plugins the bluetooth will start but if you're running all 32-bit music software this is what will happen you will get a message telling you that midi over bluetooth is not available because it requires midi services to operate in 64-bit mode the following 32-bit driver plugins are incompatible and in this case it's the sound grid midi plugin from waves to solve this problem we need to find the folder that contains the Waves plugin and delete the Waves plugin. To do that if you double click on your desktop hard disk icon which will open a finder window then go and click on the disk in the favorites at the side under devices and then come across and go to library and then from library select audio and from audio select MIDI drivers and then in MIDI drivers I find the SoundGrid MIDI plugin which is the 32-bit plugin that's causing me the problem. So what I want to do is to right click on that and say move to trash and it's going to pop up and say finder wants to move SoundGrid MIDI dot plugin to trash enter your password to allow this so you'll need to enter your password and it will then move it to the trash what I suggest you do after you've done that is that you open the trash and you create a new folder on your desktop called 32-bit plugins and you drag that plugin into that folder. Again, it will ask you to verify that you want to move it and then you can keep it safe just in case you don't want to use Bluetooth MIDI in the future or you want to be able to use the SoundGrid MIDI plugin when you're not using Bluetooth MIDI. Once you've done that, you'll need to restart the machine. You'll note this time when you open the audio MIDI setup and you're in the uh, MIDI studio, you'll notice that the Wave Sound Grid has now got a big red question mark by it. So you can just highlight it and then delete it and it'll disappear. Now what we do is double click on Bluetooth and this time it opens and if you have your Roly block switched on, you'll see that immediately you have them listed as devices and to connect to them you literally just do go to the right and click connect and it connects and as you'll see we have two new devices loop block pv5 and light pad block wk11 and if you double click on them you'll see all the ports and everything associated with them and that's it bluetooth midi is now working you can now use the roly blocks with your music software i hope you find the video useful Useful. If you do, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There are lots of money saving and other tips on the Fixed It YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.